I will demonstrate here the peeling of an epiretinal membrane. I use the three port trocar system of DORG with valves, a three step system to insert the trocar cannulas. The advantage of the valves is a closed system and does not need a chandelier light in this kind of operations. After performing vitrectomy, I perform a fluid air exchange. The light in the left hand you see the light pipe, in the right hand the fluid needle, which is placed above the optic disc. The advantage of air is a better in view into the eye up to the aura serrata. The disadvantage is that the view gets worse which can be improved by moving the biome up. Hold the fluid needle steadily above the optic disc until the residual fluid is removed. Here a few bubbles. The next step we will to will be to drop a few drops of dye, in this case tripen blue, into the eye. For example membrane blue or mono blue. Wait a few seconds. I tend to wait 15 seconds and then remove the excessive dye with the fluid needle by cautiously placing the fluid needle into the dye puddle. The advantage of this method is that you do not flood the vitreous cavity with the dye. Now one performs a air fluid exchange. You see how the water streams in from the fusion line into the vitreous cavity. You hold the fluid needle just under the IOL and wait until the eye is filled with BSS. Now the little puddle is removed. Next one places a plano concave lens from dog onto the cornea or uses a 60 diopter lens from oculus with the biome in order to visualize the membrane. The membrane is peeled with an Eckert forceps. Grasp the edges of the membrane and pull it on the s at, at the same level of the retina. Always watch where the forceps is moving. Don't look at the membrane, look at the forceps in order not to jam the forceps into the retina. Thank you very much.